Hello again. My name is Kathy, and today we'll, we will begin Lesson 2 from Teach Yourself to Play the Folk Harp Book by Sylvia Woods. For those of you that are learning to read music, continue to use the Note Speller flashcards each day, and each day also go through all of the pieces from the first four lessons of this book and name each of the notes. Don't write the names of the notes in your book. Sometimes beginner students will do this and it hinders their capacity to learn how to read music. Keep exercising your brain to remember these notes. Use the phrases like, every good boy deserves fun, and face to help you to remember and find the notes of the treble clef. Use good boys deserve fun always and all cows eat grass to help to remember the notes of the bass clef. Keep working at this and you will be reading music fluently very soon. Refer back to my video called Before You Begin for special insights into some of the issues you may be feeling at this point. Keep practicing the exercises from Lesson 1 in addition to the new exercise that you will be learning for Lesson 2. In Lesson 2, we will be learning about the quarter rest. This rest gets one beat of silence. When you get to this rest, you count one beat, but don't play anything. For example, several measures in The Water is Wide, a piece from this lesson, has a rest on the first beat. You still count one, two, three, four, but do not play anything on beat one. We will also be learning about tied notes in Long Long Ago. Two notes of the same pitch can be tied together. You pluck only the first note, but hold it for the combined duration of both notes. Finally, we will learn about dots that follow notes. A dotted note increases the value of the note by half of its original value. As an example, a half note gets two beats. A dotted half note gets three beats. A quarter note gets one beat. A dotted quarter note gets one and a half beats. Remember to first name the notes in each of the new pieces for Lesson 2, and then count out the entire piece of music. Then play the piece of music, and then play and count out the piece of music. Each piece is then played with the right hand and then played an octave lower with the left hand. Remember to keep your thumbs high, like so, and hinge from this knuckle here. See? This knuckle here. And like so, as far as your hand position goes when you pluck the strings. Hello! Uh, now we're going to start Lesson 2, the exercise number 2. And you place your hands on the strings as such. Play the first hand position and before you play the thumb, you place the fourth finger on the next position. And repeat. See how that's working? See how that works? See? Okay. And then you come down again and you would do this exercise with the left hand an octave lower. Yes, the first piece is The Water is Wide on page 22. And here we're introducing the quarter rest. And we've already discussed that. It's a count of one and it's just silence. Now we'll clap this out together. 
One and two and three and four and 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 one and two three and four and one and two and 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 three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and excellent okay now we're going to play this piece the water is wide and it's very slow Isn't it beautiful? It's a lovely piece of music. Okay, now we'll play it again and we'll count it. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and excellent now this next piece on page 22 is called white coral bells now you'd go through the piece and name the notes and then you'd clap and count it and we'll do that together it's in four four time one two three four 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 excellent okay now we'll play it and it's a nice leisurely play pace Excellent. Okay, now we'll play it again and this time we'll count with it. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, 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 four, one.
one, two, three, four. Excellent! Hello, this next piece is called Long, Long Ago and it's on page 23. Now, you'd go through this piece and you'd name all of the notes and then you'd clap and count. This is in 4-4 four, four time. So, we'll clap it together. It introduces the tied note and what that is is it's two notes of the same pitch and you hold it for the entire length of both notes and just play it once. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. 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 Excellent! Okay, now we'll play this. Excellent. Isn't that a pretty piece? Okay, now we'll do it again and we'll count it out together. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Great! Now, uh, we're at the top of page 24. We're being introduced to the concept of the dotted note. And it has a little exercise at the top here that we'll clap together. Okay? It's in 4-4 four, four time, just to illustrate the dotted note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and yeah okay and now this next piece is called country gardens and it has uh, in four four time and what we'll do what you do is you go through the whole piece and you name the notes and then we'll clap it together now 
One and two and three and four and 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 great fantastic well now we'll play this piece of music Now we'll play this piece again and we'll count with it. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and and one and two and three and four 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 and excellent now this last piece of music is called the Allemande and it is in 4-4 four, four time as well. What you do is you go through the whole piece and you name all of the notes and now we're going to clap to it. One two three four 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 one two three Three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. Fantastic! Now we'll play this together. One oh, just play it. Now we'll play this piece and we'll count together with it. One, two, three, four, 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 one,
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Terrific! Now, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. And that's it for lesson two. Take care and happy harping.